Stakeholders have agreed that leveraging on global research and policies adaptability is essential to liberate the nation from poverty. The agreement was made at the Nigeria Evidence Summit, which provides a platform for conversations around the thematic area of social protection, financial inclusion, and education. The summit, which you expert from various fields, is organized by the Innovation Poverty Action Tagged, translating Imagine Evidence for Impact, held in Abuja. Experts who spoke at the event says the conversation aims to initiate lasting change and impact in Nigeria with regards to tackling the poverty challenges worsened by poor implementation of policies and data-driven intervention. On its part, the National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons, NAPSIP, says its partnership with IPA remains a pioneering initiative that holds immense promise in enhancing data infrastructure and analytical capabilities. The victims of trafficking, they are the reason why we are existing. They are our assets as an agency because if we don't protect them, if we don't provide for them, if we don't provide a adequate support to them, they will begin to believe that the people to be trusted are the, are the traffickers and they will begin to look at anything that traffickers show to them as the best. The bottom line that we always advise our country offices to do is to be very, very closely collaborating from the beginning with the ministry, the decision makers, the implementers, and of course the funders. So we want to make sure that we are not coming up with some academic interesting idea, but we come up to solve problems that are real for the citizens of Nigeria and for the poor people of Nigeria. We have three thematic areas, social protection, financial inclusion, and education for the summit. But IPA works across more areas, you know. And what we do is to, or what we are trying to do today, is to make sure that we have conversations that people can carry forward that will lead to lasting change and impact in Nigeria.